Well, hello ladies and gentlemen of the, the Tinter Webs. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm out on another one. Um, just a one-nighter, I think. We've got some bad weather coming in later on. I'm on, I'm on the first flood, pl uh, floodplain camp, but um, should be okay. We've got some wind and some rain and stuff coming in. I think it's the end of that Hurricane Dorian or whatever it was. But um, it's not going to be that much rain, so it'll be okay. I'm uh, going to just chill out. I'm going to cook some nice food. I'm going to have a nice big fire in my hammock. And uh, just keep my eye out in case it floods. So I don't want it to flood. So yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so there we go guys basically set up uh, Got my, my normal setup, DD, DD hammock, snug pack under quilt. Uh, just got it on some suspension, like carabiners here, just to make it easy. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my sleeping thing. I've not got my, I, I've not got my big military sleeping bag out. To be honest, I don't, I don't really like sleeping bags and hammocks. It's kind of annoying. <coughs> I'm saving up to get a cold weather quilt. But what I do have is just this wee DD hammock quilt, which has seen me all through the summer. It's actually surprisingly warm for what it is. That wasn't even compacted. You can compact that down to nothing. See, just a little light quilt, foot box in it. Also, maybe be using this in real cold. If we get any real cold weather, I'll take out my big sleeping bag and I'll put this inside it. There's my sleeping bag open right up front, I'll have that come over. It's been really nice. So, and then what I've got here as well is uh, like the American style, it's like the Whoopi blanket, it's a poncho liner. So I've got that here as well, and I'm just kind of leave that doubled over. And I put that in as well. That's just an extra little there. I think you saw in one of my previous videos where, where the hell? Where's this little thing? Oh, I hate those things. Got <laughs> little walls. Yeah. yeah, you saw me use that wooden blanket one as a an improvised um, under blanket. It worked quite well actually. Because it's got tie-ons, it's got tie-ons all round it. And obviously the DD hammock's got these little tie-ons here. Not up like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's me for the night. I might reinforce the peg, singing it down, because we've got some bad weather coming in tonight. It's not going to be too crazy, but we've got bad weather, so I might reinforce the back. I might take the, the tent stacks out and actually make some some wooden ones, some big ones. Uh, I'll see how I feel. So I've started the wood collection. See here, a couple of these bits were left over from when me and Tiny were here. Let's take you down to the beach. No problem for big bits. I really just need to collect small bits now. I'm only be doing it for like five minutes. There's another bit there. I've got a couple of wee piles over here. I just need to collect, which you'll see in a second. Quite sunny out here. Yeah? 
Uh, so just over here we've got a nice wee pile there. It's actually quite big. So yeah, I've got this stuff here. You can see like, that's my foot, that's big. <laughs> Another few bits in here. I think that bit on there is maybe a bit wet, but this bit could probably come. I'll take the silky to it. Another couple of bits over there. So yeah, there's plenty of wood to be had. That's kind of why I came down here. So I could just have a nice big raging fire tonight. I kind of, I kind of want a big one as well because when you put these nice big logs on it, you get a good uh, coal bed going. Even when the rain comes, the, the big bits of wood help protect it as well, help protect the fire. So there's all this I'm just going to raid for kindling and stuff in a minute. And then yeah, I might start a fire early tonight, get a coal bed going, get everything sorted. There's so much wood. There we go, so that's been about, I don't know, 15 minutes of collecting, maybe not even that, so plenty of wood now, if I do need any more it's, it's really close, so I'm going to get this fire started, um, it's going to be such a cheating fire, <laughs> a totally quick and dirty fire because I'm going to be using one of the, well two of these fire logs <laughs> just because I had them kicking around so I'm going to use these today just because uh, we, we got that weather coming in and stuff and uh, to be honest I'm feeling a bit lazy I know it's not bushcrafty, you know, and everything, but I'm just out to enjoy myself. So, yeah, I'll bring you guys back later when, uh, when maybe something decent's happening. Cooking and stuff. I'm going to get this fire going because it's actually, it's, it's a bit chilly. The wind's picking up. wind's going to pick up tonight, but, yeah. Well, that's the last thing I'm going to do actually before I light the fire. I'm going to go and uh, and go and grab a thingy of willow over there and just get a bit for a uh, some pent bit of some pent some tent pegs. Because I think I'll need to secure this before it gets dark. So I'll do that. Do that in a bit. Well, everyone, I've got the fire going good. It's proper hot fire that is kicking out a massive amount of heat. Um, I'm going to do some cooking in a bit, that's why I'm kind of letting it burn down a wee bit just so I can get some coals. I'll chuck some, some of this bigger stuff on. You can see where I've just been putting stuff on and using the fire to half it in two basically. Getting a bit dark now, I don't I don't think, I think the camera actually it looks a wee bit lighter than it is. But it is actually getting quite dull now. I felt a few bits of rain. I've got my, my shelter in storm mode. So it's all buckled up. Just had a wee spare carabiner, so I put it on there just to seal that. Still got the end up. I'll like with a stick. I'll I'll put that down if I need to, but I don't think I'll need to. So just about every point, apart from one, every tie down point of this tarp is pegged down. You, know what you can see in there. I'm looking everything, so it's it's put down quite low. So I can get get in out of the wind for it's coming later on. I've moved the I've moved the seat back as well. So I'll now be able to sit on that, even if it's raining, I'll be able to sit on that and uh hopefully enjoy the fire. That's why I've got kind of a big fire going in these sort of big logs. Because the amount of heat is kicking off that then it really would take some rain to to put it out. But also the big logs, if you've got big logs on top, it's kind of burning underneath, even if it's burning slow and smouldering. It doesn't have to be massive flames. It's uh, That wood kind of protects the fire a little bit from 
the rain going straight on it. Found another big big bit of wood there as well, that root. That's gonna burn good. Still got this stuff over here as well. I may put this on right at the end of the night. You can see the size of it, it's wide of my foot, so it's like nine inches. I'm a size nine, so that's a good bit of wood there. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll keep an eye on this little river tonight. This is just at the, the top of the island where it splits. You've got this little this little stream that comes through. So it's a lot lower than when me and Tiny were here last time anyway. Like like quite a bit lower. Um, yeah, I'll be keeping an eye on that. When it raises to a certain point, Certainly when it's covering those two rocks, you can see in the middle there. I'll definitely start paying more attention. And if it gets up to... Maybe about a foot and a half, so I'll be able to judge it on that look there. When it gets up to maybe a foot and a half, two foot higher, then I'll think about... Maybe going, but... Realistically, I've got about... Well, it's about, if you're standing in the river over at the bridge there, that bridge is probably about about six foot. Like, I'd be able to stand under that with my head probably just touching it. I'm, I'm just under six foot. Well, five, ten. That's just under six foot. Um, so, as long as the water doesn't raise that much, I have an escape from the island. This is a high point in the island. Even if I have to get a bit wet up to my knees going down here, I'd still be able to get off. And then there's only probably no more than 50 yards to walk. As soon as you get up there, just that way you can see in the middle of the frame, then you're you're safe from most floods. It'd have to be something really epic to bother you up there. So I'll part pack my stuff away tonight, so most of it's basically in the bag. And if I need to, I'll grab my bag, I'll run over there. My hang up, I'll just grab it, sling it over my shoulder, jump over there and dump it even if it gets wet or I'll wrap it up in the tarp as I jump over there and uh, sort out somewhere else to camp. And at the very worst, if I have to leave and everything gets soaking wet, then well, I'll just have to walk home, won't I? <laughs> but no, we don't want to abandon a camp. No, 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 no. So now I'm just kind of waiting for the night, really because that's that's my favourite time when I'm camping when it's dark and the fire's on definitely my favourite time so yeah I'll bring you guys I'll, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit when I'm when I'm cooking I'm going to let this burn down just a little bit more and then then we'll get some grub on Guys, this is a. Uh, I've got my steaks on. My steaks on there. I've got my potato dolphin wires up here. I uh, don't think this is going to take very long to keep slow because that fire is just crazy hot. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to eat all this. Mum's just cooking now before. Bad weather rain, that's going to be sometime in the next hour, so I'll, uh, I'll cook this off just now and have a dinner on that, get that out of the way. And um, There we go. There's the steaks on there. I've got some as well I made at home, some uh, tinny cherry sauce, some potato dolphin, we're having uh, rump steak. That's a finger burner. Some rump steak with potato dolphin wires and tinny cherry sauce. And they're getting fried in a uh, garlic oil right now. Can 
fries off, I like them about rare, medium rare. We can kind of flip that off to the side to let them rest a little bit. The golden wild will be ready. Who says you can't eat well on a camping trip? Anything you can do at home, you can do on a fire outside, pretty much. Well, if you could smell this in there, man. Oh. Now let's do this. You can see I'm not seasoning the meat, but that's because chimichurri, it's got enough seasoning in it. I don't want to add salt to that and then have that on there, it'd be too salty, so it doesn't need it. Oh yeah. Just turn that round a wee bit. Just to expect the rain coming in now. Only a little bit. None of the bad rains don't start until like 10, between 10 and 12 ish. And then it's going to calm down a little bit. The wind is still high. And then tomorrow morning about. Five, six in the morning. We're gonna have a few hours there. Pretty nasty weather, but because the wind it seems to be moving past quite, quite quickly. So it's approaching medium rare, so I'll set it off to the side there on the rock. That's what I really like about this campfire. We've got space for stuff. If that rock will hold a bit, that rock will probably be roasting right now, actually. It might be turning to kind of be bit. I really need to stop using my new tools for this <laughs> firework. Well, red right burner, I know. I reckon I'll give it a couple of minutes for the dolphin wire. There we go, guys. We're all cooked there. We've got steak with chimichurri sauce and a uh, I did leave the dolphin wires in a little bit long, so I've, I've only got about half of them because the rest of them were burnt. Full disclosure. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build that fire up. Uh, eat my dinner and wait for, wait for this weather to come in. And we'll see what's going to happen for this evening.
So guys, that's me in my hammock. <clears throat> Not crazy amounts of rain yet, but we'll see what comes through the night. So I'm going to get some kit now. And uh, I'll see all you guys in the morning. Nice. So, the wind's picked up quite a bit, we've got some rain and that. Fire's still going, I kind of woke up again. So the... yeah, I'm just going to back down the hatches a little bit, I think. Um, and then, I think about going back to, back to sleep, I think. Windy out there, like. I don't want my camera. My, ca <laughs> my phone torch is nearly as good as my head torch. <laughs> uh, yeah. There, you can actually see through there over to the side as well. So, if the water's rising, I'll only have to put my head torch on for a wee second and I'll be able to see it. Okay, guys, good night. Uh, bring you back in the morning or uh, if anything uh, awesome happens. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Well, we made it through the night. It's not flooded yet. I'm still here swinging in my hammock. I've not got in my hammock yet. Got my coffee on. <laughs> I just boiled up some water there. See, so, yeah, not so much rain now. It's mostly just... Uh, Mostly just windy at the moment. But even um, last night I got, I was way too hot even with that wind and that. So I had to, a tangy, just scrap the poncho liner and just use my, my little DD coat. So I'm going to <laughs> tell you another thing, the trees I'm on, they're, they're reasonably thin trees that I'm on just now. They're not, not so wide, but with the wind blowing them and them moving, it keeps on dump dump tugging on my thing. I wondered what it was earlier on last night, but I figured out what it was now. <sighs> Won't be making a fire this morning, it's well and truly out now because of the rain. That's completely doused. Saves me a job today, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it'd been a, been a nice wee camp, been a nice wee chilled out one, even with the weather. Been... Don't bother me too much. Oh, excuse me. So I'm going to have a little hang here and my coffee, and then I'll probably be getting up and packing away and whatnot. It's be interesting as well packing away this big tarp in this wind. <coughs> oh, leaves all over it. Yeah, this will be a wee bit more interesting. We'll see how it goes. Well, everyone, that's us all, all ready for the off, all packed up. Oh, it looks like that we've done the fire, but that's well out after the rain. It's completely sodden. Everything packed up there. Yeah, so we'll get where the going's good and the, the weather's uh, we've got a wee break in the weather.
Okay, up that bridge we go. And let's just hope I don't go in the water or my phone doesn't go in the water. Do do. Yeah, that's what we walk across. Really nice job Tiny's done with that as well. Right. So guys, we'll figure out the best way to get down from here one-handed. Oh, there we go. Right, probably have to edit that bit. <laughs> Bag one of the straps got caught in the hanging there, I was nearly hanging. Ow. So yeah. On our way now. Had a good trip, good camp. Not so far to go, this is one of the closer camps. But um, uh, thank everyone for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers, and uh, yeah, I hope you you can uh, do me a favour and, and like the videos and uh, share. Uh, and if you like what you see, also subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to do something maybe a bit different in the next one. So we've got some up and coming news, so I'll probably let you know that in the next couple of camps. We'll see what goes on. But yeah, take care everyone. Bye now.